5 weather. Here's a viewer photo that will light up your life. Monsoon thunderstorms in southwestern Colorado. That's Uray. You've heard me talk about cloud to ground lightning. How about cloud to peak lightning right there in Colorado Springs? We're clear tonight. It's still warm. 81 is the current temperature live from downtown Pueblo. Still 88 degrees with crystal clear skies and up on the hill northbound I-25 down to one lane that will slow your roll. All right, here's our big weather story. Here's what's going to happen around here on Saturday, and I gave you the first alert on this earlier in the week. Here we go. Cold front rolls through here Saturday morning. Strong wind out of the north with the frontal passage gusts from 30 to 30 five miles per hour that will bring in cooler air at the surface, a moist upslope flow and more monsoon moisture making its way here across the viewing area. Factor in those elements. We will see thunderstorms. Some will be strong. Some will produce flash flooding Saturday afternoon into Saturday evening. Here's the way it all shakes out. Look at this by 6 p.m. Rain up and down I-25 all the way back west to the Continental Divide and still some pretty good rain across parts of eastern Colorado late Saturday night into Sunday morning. Still getting raindrops on the rooftops and this model has rain Saturday morning around here. A little unusual to see rain during the morning hours this time of year, but with this system, I think it's going to happen, and that'll continue into the afternoon hours on Sunday, finally wrapping up by Sunday evening. Take a look. By Saturday night, could get eight tenths in Pueblo, over an inch already in Colorado Springs, and then we get piled on by Sunday morning into Sunday afternoon, well over an inch possible in Pueblo, and close to two inches possible across parts of Colorado Springs. Tomorrow morning, sunshine gives way to afternoon clouds that might Monsoon plume is going to be shifting a little further east tomorrow, so I've got a thunderstorm up over Teller County, maybe even northwestern El Paso County, also across the Tri Lakes area. Could see something late tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. Today in Pueblo, the 18th day in a row where the high was 90 or hotter. Colorado Springs, we topped out at 92 degrees this afternoon. Outside right now, it's still warm across the viewing area with 70s and 80s. Lows tonight, not all that low, only 65 in Pueblo, 63 tonight in Colorado Springs. Tomorrow, of course, is Friday. You Usually we say TGIF, tomorrow we say TGIAC. Yes, you're going to need that AC big time tomorrow, but then a nice cooling trend just in time for the weekend. It's a three on the storm impact scale on Saturday. Could get some small hail with some of the stronger storms, heavy rain, flash flooding possible, and of course look out for that dangerous cloud to ground lightning. I think we'll be good for that parade Saturday morning in the spring, celebrating the spring's 150th anniversary, but uh, the street festival on Vermaho could get washed away on Saturday afternoon. And for Pueblo, you'll be roasted again tomorrow, and you can make that dry roasted with dry skies all day. Then Saturday, resurgence of moist, unstable air. That'll support thunderstorms. Some could be strong with heavy rain in some neighborhoods. And no sun on Sunday, just cloudy skies, cool and wet to start the month of August. I'll keep at least a chance of thunderstorms in your forecast all the way through the middle part of next week. Canyon City upslope flow and monsoon moisture on Saturday. That's a good combination for heavy rain during the afternoon. Your outdoor, uh, your outdoor activities could be floating away by Saturday afternoon. Woodland Park, super soakers possible both Saturday and Sunday. I wouldn't be a bit surprised to see some small hail across parts of Teller County and a chiller on Sunday, a high of only 66 degrees.